Hi, Steve Jones here with the Hardscape channel. Here I've got with me the great God guru, Bill <laughs> Schneider. Yeah. Famous, infamous, all sorts of wonderful things. Bill, you know, I, I, I got to say, I, did, I don't understand what you did here this year at Hardscape North America by inv taking your own money and, and investing it in the demonstration area uh, just outside the hall here because a tremendous undertaking for one person to help the industry with his own money. Why? Well, here again, we this, this whole manufacturing paver industry has gone totally residential and now that this economy is the way it is, they're bringing all these residential contractors that know nothing about commercial work to underbid people like me so they can get the job and sell it to them cheaper. And one of the key factors is when I started my original company, I was only selling commercial work and selling the system and the product, And but I had residential people coming out and watching what we're doing and say, boy, can we get this at our house? Can you can you do you know my driveway or can you do my patio? And I always said, sure, we'll work on it. And I only did four jobs when I realized what the difference was between residential and commercial. And I created a separate company immediately that only did residential work. It didn't do commercial work. But Bill, I have a question for you. Um, commercial contractors aren't born, they're not made up in a test tube, they start as residential contractors for the most part. So there has to be some sort of evolutionary process for a residential contractor to become a, a properly qualified, knowledgeable commercial contractor. What is that path? Well, um, the, the, main, the main course of that is going to your school and, and taking the classes and learning how to do pavers properly, learning how to do base properly, learning how to check base. Uh, the, the other thing is, is at your school, we talk to everybody about how they should be estimating by the hour, not by the square foot, and we give them all that information. And the great blessing in my life is only a year and a half after I was in business, I wasn't bidding by the hour I was just bidding and I had no competition but a friend of mine came to me and says you need to get a consultant and I know I'm fine I don't need it but I ended up hiring the guy and that's what got me to know how to run a business not how just to do a job yes I know how to do a job but I also know how important it is to run a business and I'm never the low bidder I'm just the best installer well you know where you been oh. well, yeah. We're, hey, let go of the camera. I gotta beat this guy up. We're, we're we're doing the interview here, Frank. So, you know, Bill, it's it's an important thing that all the things you talk about and try to help guys out with, and yet, the uh, the where are we failing? Where are we? Fa is it the business aspect that we can't seem to get traction with? But no. The costing and the estimating. Well, one one of the major reasons this industry is is not growing properly is because most of the manufacturers now are all selling through dealers. They're not calling on architects and engineers, and and the other issue is is they don't sell a system anymore. All they do is sell a product, and to get people to do things and do them right, you definitely have to sell a system, which I did right from the early stages, and. This business was very good commercially until this industry, probably 12 to 15 years ago, they went totally residential because they sell the paver for more money residentially than they do commercially, and they don't make the paver anywhere as good as they did 10 to 12 years ago. And it's it's and here again they make bigger and bigger pavers, and they're they're setting them on sand and gravel. And guess what? If you're in cold weather where you get freezing and stuff, that won't work. Well, Bill, you know, I, I, I agree that it, the overall quality of pavers has been declining yep. for well over a decade. And But there are some bright spots. There's some companies we've seen that, that are focused on providing quality products. I'm not going to say it's all of them. It's not even a majority of them. But there are some out there that we, you know, 
our customers know who they are. And the ones that don't, then they need to take a little broader look at what's what can be available to them. It's all about longevity. And unfortunately, for the uh, chase of the almighty dollar today, we're giving up our industry to that tomorrow. Well, I mean, here again, it's it's what you're saying is absolutely correct. One of, one of the biggest things there is, is we did the first permeable job that was done in the United States and it's it's 11 years ago and it's still working perfect and we did several of the first jobs but now and they work but now we're being underbid by people who don't even know what this permeable business is all about and all of a sudden now people are cutting back on permeable papers because the job doesn't work long term and it's all about how it's installed how the system is done all of that stuff so it's, it's a critical factor for this industry to think about commercial work being separate from residential work. Well, how important, or, uh, re, let me rephrase, how good a job is ICPI doing in supporting proper uh, permeable pavements today? Um, Support documents, that sort yeah. of thing. Um, well, I, they they talk like they're doing everything right, but um, here again, they all they want to do is sell a product, sell a product, sell a product, and it's not about it's about doing a a system and yes, selling a product to make sure it's a high quality product and the installation is done absolutely correct. You would be surprised the number of jobs we did before this industry went the way it went, and I had one customer who was the biggest developer in the Chicagoland area and we did work for him for a long, long time. Every job he would use pavers to do big patios and these commercial products and he would use them in, in entrance ways and all that stuff. And once we got manufacturers in the Chicagoland area, landscapers were underbidding us on jobs and this guy was higher, or he was, basically he was the developer and he was hiring general contractors and they were hiring the low bidder and he called me a year and a half after this and he told me, Bill, I want you to know that I'm not doing pavers anymore because we can't get it done right. And he says, all the jobs you did are working perfect, he says, but all of a sudden now, he says, we can't get the job done with you because you're never the low bidder. And he said, and I never argue with my general contractors that are doing the work. He says, but I'm just going back to concrete. He says, yeah, it's still going to crack and it's not going to work as good as you. He says, but I don't have anywhere near the problems that we're having with this. And I was like, yeah, and that's why, you know, I just, people in here again, I owned a commercial business right away. Uh, and then I went and after doing just a few jobs residentially, I created a separate company because I knew it had to be done completely different and, and completely estimated different and all that. And amazingly, once the manu three manufacturers opened up in Chicago, a year and a half later, I took that company and moved it to Ohio because we could do non-union work down there. And we don't do residential anymore because we can never be competitive with these people. I find, well, that's uh, that's a sad story, Bill. Yes, that, it is. That really is a sad story. Yep, no, I know. And here again, I just keep hoping that at some point we'll get this industry moving back in the right direction again. So, And thank you very much for everything, my friend. I appreciate Bill, it. Bill, you know, without your uh, mentorship and guidance and leadership in our industry, I don't know that we ever would have gotten to this point. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, yeah, we're, we're doing good, and you have a lot to do with that. You get you get more credit than I do. So. <laughs> I don't want the credit. Yes, you do. This is Steve Jones with the Hardscape Channel and Bill Schneider, great guide guru of paving, signing off.